So you Sprint customer, still waiting for that LTE network to get ramped up on your side of the fence? Well, you might be in luck. Hey guys, how you doing? DJ AJ 101 here, and I have a quick little article for you guys today, kind of pertaining to the video I did two videos ago about was Sprint going to get the next version of the iPhone and was it going to be LTE was the big question. And uh, Sprint confirmed that it was going to be an LTE iPhone that they were going to get if the next version of the iPhone happened to be long-term evolution networking built in. And today Sprint actually confirmed that a little bit more. They actually rolled out plans for their LTE network they're going to be rolling out within the next two years. So a couple of years from now Sprint will have its full LTE network up and going Guns a blazing, and here is the article. Let's bring it in right now. Sprint outlines LTE coverage plans at the RCA Expo. So basically, what did Sprint say? Well, they said that over the next two years, they're going to be building out their uh, existing WiMAX network and putting LTE networks up. So basically, within the next two years, they're going to have hopefully the exact same coverage area that they have right now on 3G is now going to be an LTE 4G network. So that's going to be great news out there for you Sprint users who have been dying and waiting. Come on, Sprint, get that LTE network up because you're a little bit behind AT&T and Verizon. Well, now it looks like you guys are going to have that LTE network to you know, get your guns a-blazing on your smartphones over the next two years, which is going to be very, very awesome. And Sprint says it should be built out uh, by the 2014 time frame. So, of course, in two years, hopefully, uh, Sprint will have its uh, network, at least where it has uh, its native coverage all set. And as you guys can see from the map, all the green is the native on the coverage map uh, that Sprint plans to make 4G LTE. And, of course, the blue is going to be the roaming. So, you know, states like Montana and the Dakotas quite a bit are definitely going to be on the roaming uh, version of 4G more more than likely on a Verizon or uh, AT&T network, depending on which one. Uh, since they're all going to be using LTE now, there isn't going to be like the standard of GSM versus CDMA and stuff like that. They're all going to be on LTE. Different spectrum, so we're going to have to see how the roaming agreements come into play. But they pretty much say, well, at least roaming agreements should be in place on Sprint's network because uh, if you travel and you're not in a native coverage area, of course, you're going to want to get service and maybe 4G LTE on your smartphone. So uh, this looks quite good for Sprint. At least they finally announced their plans on what they're hoping to have covered in the next two years, and I'm sure this will only expand off that. But I'd like to hear what you guys have to think. There's not too much besides that. Please leave your comments below on what you think about this announcement and if it's going to be available by that 2014 and a couple of years time frame. I'm sure a lot of Sprint customers out there uh, would like that. I'm finally glad to actually see Sprint getting its, you know, getting its wings off the ground a little bit and soaring a little bit and hopefully being able to make a little bit of a splash in the LTE world along with AT&T and Verizon and their LTE networks. But anyways, guys, please feel free. Like I said, leave your comments below and let me know what you guys think. Also, feel free to rate this video up, subscribe, and check out my YouTube channel if you happen to like my content because I sure do appreciate that. That helps me out very much. And I enjoy doing this for you guys, so that keeps me going. But anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Link will be in the description if you'd like to check this article for yourself. And I hope you guys have a great one. See you next time.